Yo, what is good everybody? dusty 4 kicks here. Welcome back to the channel. Feel free to show some love by hitting that thumbs up and subscribe button down below. It is always appreciated. If you want to check out any of my other content, here is my Instagram and here is my Reddit. Today we got a pair of kicks from a seller named Boostmaster Lin. Gonna link their information right there so you can check them out. Today we're gonna be checking out the unreleased collaboration between Nike and Ambush on the Dunk High Chicago's. I am super excited about these. Let's get right into it. All right, so Yoon An, creative director of Ambush, has pretty much, in my opinion, been on a roll lately. Came out with the Black Colorway a little while ago. Released the Cosmic Fuchsia, which not a fan of, but there are some people out there that really do like those. Just came out with the Deep Royal Colorway a couple weeks ago. Those are fire, in my opinion. If you didn't check out my rep review on those, got them from the same seller. Go ahead and check that out, like I said, if you didn't. She already went ahead and said that she's coming out with another colorway called the Flash Lime. Again, not a huge fan of those, but I know some people that are really gonna love those and the bright colors. Yoon posted pictures of her wearing these already. I'll put the picture right there. Not sure why she had to go hard with that outfit, but there you go. Obviously, pretty much anything with a Chicago color blocking is gonna sell like crazy. It's just a classic, everybody loves it. That red and the white, and then it meets with the black swoosh. I personally go crazy for it too, so I can see why others do as well. Since she posted that picture, there hasn't been a whole lot of buzz around it that I've seen. I recently just saw an influencer, and I know what you're thinking. Influencers can wear fake stuff and blah, 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 blah. I get that. This is one of those influencers that brands like Nike and Adidas and so-and-so send actual products to. Not sure what this lady really does other than be an Instagram person and maybe a DJ, but whatever. She's based in Germany and she recently wore a pair of these. And in my opinion, it might be some lighting, it might be something like that, but I think there are a couple changes, if anything, from these. And when you actually inspect the pair that Yoon had on, you can kind of see it too. Let's take a closer look and see those differences I'm talking about and whether or not you should cop or drop this early. So like I said, for the uppers, you got the really nice classic color blocking of the Chicago's, where you got the red here, the white side panels, the red leather around the toe box, and then the black swoosh. This obviously is an ambush dunk eye, so you got the extended black swoosh that goes past the actual shoe. You got the extended red leather right here around the collar. And then here you got the extended leather on the heel cup, as well as this red rubber right here or PVC or whatever it is that also extends even further. You got the white midsole. One thing that I say is gonna change for these, just like on the Deep Royals, it's gonna be like a cream color. If you looked at the picture that Yoon was wearing and that influencer chick, it was like a cream color. It could be a filter, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Soles, you got that really nice Chicago red with a Nike hit right there on the center. Toe box, you got the regular white leather and then the red for the lace guards. It comes with these white laces. I wanna say they're waxed because they're like a different type, but it's really hard to see it. Then you got the white tongue and then the tongue tag is ambushed with a check in white and it's on a black tag. I will say that I think this is correct, at least the pair that the influencer Ann Yoon was wearing for the tag, but there are some reps where they have it red, not really sure why they went there. Maybe because the actual Chicago colorway for the Jordan 1s have a red tag, but that's just my guess. Inside you can see the exposed foam right there. It's the same as the other colorway, so that seems to be correct. If you look at the insole, you can see it's lime green and then it says ambush and the check in black. They use these because obviously it's an early pair, so I guess they didn't want to assume it's gonna be black or red or white, which is what I would assume. So they use the same insole that you get with the black and white colorway of the Ambush Dunk Eyes. Backside, you can see that extended red leather here and here, and then the white right here. Then you can see Ambush in like a glossy text right there on the heel counter. Medial side, again, you got that really nice color blocking with the red leather, super nice and soft right there white side panels, extended black swoosh, and then the red leather that wraps around the toe box, as well as the white midsole that I'm hoping 
should be cream now or i'm thinking should be cream but 100 percent not sure right shoe still you got the really nice soft leather you can see the black extended swoosh white side panel the red leather that wraps around the toe box white midsole and then red chicago colorway sole with the nike hit right there on the center toe box nice white leather red leather that wraps around the lace guards white maybe wax laces still not 100 and not really sure what laces are actually going to come with them once they do release white leather tongue black tongue tag with ambush in the check in white and so again you get the lime green with the swoosh and the black ambush print like i said it's probably going to be changing to red black or white this is just the one that came with the black and white colorway backside again you got the nice red here and here that are extending over the white panel right here then you got this heel counter right here that says ambush in like a glossy print Media side to wrap it up, you got the really nice red leather here and around the toe box, white side panels, extended black swoosh, and then cut it off with the really nice white midsole that I'm thinking should be cream. Yeah guys, so in my opinion, these are super sick. I do think you should probably hold off on the early pair of reps until they at least change this midsole. Not sure if the heel counter is gonna be a different shade of red. On the Deep Royals, it kinda was like a shade darker on retail than the reps that I got. Not a big deal, but this is more of a like almost pink. Not really pink, but like a faded red, I guess. But yeah, definitely the midsole I think is gonna be cream. So I would definitely hold off on these. Cool pair or not, that's gonna be something that's easy to see on foot, even if you're walking and stuff like that. So yeah, maybe hold off, but completely up to you, fam. All right, fam, I think that's about it for me. I appreciate you stopping by the channel and showing some love. Until next time, I'm Dusty4Kicks. Peace.